Memories like the corners of my mind. Pretty bad, huh? I got caught in memory land. We're packing up the last of the boxes for our move. We're putting a lot in storage <clears throat> so that we can renovate our home and we're moving into a small cottage on the property that we normally rent out. So the last of it was all about my great aunt Margaret's hope chest and boxes of photos. I have all my girls' school stuff and pictures and birthday cards in Aunt Margaret's hope chest. My great Aunt Margaret left it to me when she passed away and my parents shipped it to me from New York to California which must have cost an absolute fortune but as a child I absolutely loved this chest and I would love to open up the lid and smell the cedar so when I got it from my parents I started putting in memories and I put in so many things that I haven't even seen even early career newspaper clippings I was in newspapers for a long time I had to make some room in the hope chest in order to take other boxes of photos and consolidate them and some of them were going to go into the hope chest but instead of packing like I should have kept just kept going of course you get stuck in these hundreds and hundreds of snapshots someday I've got to do something about all that stuff I, I have to organize it and I do that every few years when I have to downsize or reorganize whatever I'm doing I always say I've got to do this and then I don't but yesterday was kind of fun looking at all these photos and I came across photos of me as a baby and me as a toddler and of course look how cute that's me I showed it to Jim and he said that looks just like you I said yeah it is me that's why it looks just like me I really did get into this very nostalgic place and it took me a couple hours to come back to the present I wasn't sad exactly but it was definitely this pull of time and this realization that life sure flies and let's pay attention Memories like the corners of my mind.